As retail gets disrupted, we have to anticipate what's coming. We have to help companies and workers to adapt. But it's not just doom and gloom, because when you disrupt, you also create new jobs. Like now, if people order online, it still has to come to you, either to the box or to the house. So the delivery vans doing delivery service, they will have business. And as a transport and financial hub, if people are buying online all over Southeast Asia and Asia, we can be in that business. The sh goods ship through Singapore, the financing has to be done somewhere. We can be a major player in this new logistics chain. And there will be new opportunities, data analytics, digital marketing, figuring out who's buying what, who is interested in which item, how to get the item to the person who wants it. Every industry is disrupted, but every industry is disrupted differently. So EDB, Spring, IDA, IE Singapore will work with these industries one by one, with the trade associations, with the chambers of commerce, develop specific programs to help the companies to use new technologies to invest in skills. At the same time, we also need an overall strategy to find out, to be able to spot where the changes are coming from, to respond when things are disrupted, and to keep our economy go growing so that our companies can be resilient, able to keep on finding new ways to do business, able to keep on employing Singaporeans in good jobs. And we have to prepare our workers to do good jobs, different jobs, new jobs during their lives. That is what CFE is doing, the Committee on the Future Economy, chaired by Hing Sui Kiat and Iswaran. It's not quite done, but I will give you a preview of three of the themes from the CFE project. First, to build new capabilities. Secondly, to promote entrepreneurship. And thirdly, to develop new skills amongst our people. 